Mortal Kombat is a worldwide phenomenon, making a revolution in the fighting game industry until mid-90s. Then it stepped down from the throne during its transition into 3D, only to return with a blast in 2011. Join MK Secrets and let's make a review of the history of the title that changed our childhood, our future, and the world of fighting games forever. The year is 1991. The arcade machines are everywhere. 16-bit consoles are still strong and there are tons of good games to kill time with. In the fighting game scene, Street Fighter is the absolute monopolist and there are always people around the cabinet waiting for their chance to prove their skills. During that time, in Chicago, Illinois, a small team from Midway led by John Tobias, designer, and Ed Boon, programmer, starts working on a beat-em-up game, where the main hero is none other, but Jean-Claude Van Damme, himself. But the action hero, who is at the top of his career at this time, was unable to commit to the project due to his busy schedule. Unable to continue the project, the team decided to rethink the concept and make a fighting game instead. They decided to use digitized graphics in order to make the game as realistic looking as possible. Another, previously unseen feature in fighting game was the use of a dedicated block button. Mortal Kombat is not the first fighting game to use digitized graphics. Big Fighter has already been released at that time, and Mortal Kombat was able to adopt the concept without repeating all previously made mistakes. The original story of the game was very different from what we know today. Shang Lao, who later became Shang Tsung, a warlord and ruler of an island fortress, is the host of a legendary martial arts tournament in which only the most experienced warriors can compete. In reality Shang Tsung is a demon cursed by his gods. He must drink the blood of true warriors in order to appease to his gods and stay immortal. After Gong Goro, who later became Goro, becomes champion, 500 years ago, Shang Tsung is able to corrupt the tournament and use it for his own goals. Shang gods want to invade our realm. To achieve this, they're using the Mortal Kombat tournament to unbalance the furies that make reality possible. When Earth realm is in chaos, Shang's gods can step through the dimensional gates and overtake it. <laughs> Van Damme's character was incorporated in the game under the name Michael Grimm, and later Johnny Cage. However, the main hero in Mortal Kombat was decided to be a Shaolin monk called Yoshitsun Minamoto, who later became Liu Kang. For good or for bad, Ho Sung Park, the actor who portrayed Liu Kang, refused to shave his head which ultimately changed Liu Kang's look in the game. Two ninjas, one hunted, and one hunter, were put to keep the mystery in the game. Raiden the mentor and protector of Earthrealm. Goro, the big brute with four arms, and sub-boss. Kitsun, Shang's princess daughter, who betrays him because she fell in love for Liu Kang. Kano, mercenary and thief. And cut his striker, an agent on Kano's trail. Fight. Kitsun was planned to be an unplayable background character, but was cut during development. The game needed a female fighter, so they applied Striker's story to Sonia, and that's how the Hot Gun Special Forces agent was born. Sonia wins. Fatality. So, after all the work on motion capturing and programming was done, prototype revisions of the game were released in the arcades. The blood and finishes caused for all among gamers, and the digitized characters were favored by the fans. Those seven characters will be recognized as the most iconic characters of the franchise in the future. Goro and Shang Tsung motion capture and visuals were brilliant for its time, and were hard to beat as well. 
However, the game still needed to fix some gameplay issues due to the fact that Goro was almost impossible to beat, the ridiculous juggles, and several sound leeches. Excellent. Johnny Cage wins. Flawless victory fatality. But after the 3.0 revision was made, there was another feature that comes into the scene, a hidden green ninja character, called Reptile. He appears randomly at the beginning of some fights and gives clues about how to find him. This hidden unplayable character was something never before seen in a fighting game and eventually revolutionized the whole codes and secrets concept of the genre. Few more revisions were made until the final T-Unit 5.0 was released. The most famous from the previous ones are the prototype, revision 3.0, and a few hacked ones, such as Turbo 3.1, and Nifty Combo. In the audience menu of the machine there are counters that show how many times the game was beaten, how many times each character was picked, reptile appearances, etc. A huge mystery around the game was the Max counter. Rumors spread around the globe with such a speed that this is a second hidden character called Omax. The truth is that Midway introduced Omax to correct errors that often occurred in Smash TV. In T Unit revisions, the Omax counter was removed. Mortal Kombat would probably not have been this kind of success if it wasn't for the blood, the gore and of course the fatalities. The new digitized graphics completely redefined the term realism in the video games back then and the inclusion of the breathtaking finishing moves did not remain unnoticed among the fans and also among concerned parents and authorities. The gore was so over the top for the time that it created one of the biggest video game controversies of all time, leading to the creation of the ESRB. Blood, gore and fatalities have become Mortal Kombat's identity ever since. I don't think they'll have this at home, no. Think so? <laughs> a little bit you too violent. A little startled. Yeah, it's a little too violent, I think. That's pretty bad. I mean, that, that's just plain gross. So, what'd you do to the game? It's no fun anymore. TV commercial for the home versions was broadcasted at various TV channels. This commercial remained in history as one of the most recognizable video game commercials. Most of the home ports were released on September 13, also known as Mortal Monday. Mortal Kombat was released on almost every home system with gameplay similar to the one in Revision 3.0. More recent releases of the game, in Midway Arcade Treasures, and Arcade Collection, offer an emulated arcade T-Unit 4.0 revision. Mortal Kombat quickly became one of the most popular fighting games around the world with its unique fighting system, digitized graphics, secrets, and of course the fatalities. It was obvious, that with this success, a sequel, is inevitable.